Hello? Yo, it's Jethro, man. Listen, me and Caesar have used our contacts to, like, get a wish list of cars. But we'll need to turn them around real quick, dude. Now, there's a showroom around the block that's come up for sale. And I thought it would be a good idea to make things look as legitimate as possible. Yeah, that's a great idea, man. I'm gonna look into it. I'm gonna holler at you. You can run or get a beat. Easy choice, huh? It's together now. You appreciate that. Thanks. Locals celebrated by mass outbreaks of xenophobia and inbreeding. Also, police are celebrating the removal of a major crack cocaine ring by undercover police that has virtually stopped the flow of drugs into Los Santos. Richard spoke to a man on the scene. That's right, Leanne. It's another victory for Prohibition. Police are really celebrating after this one. One officer told me his amazing true life story of how he infiltrated a drug ring and how cool it was to get paid to get high. Yeah, I was undercover smoking crack every point? day. Really? You know, just to be one of them. I even took my wife undercover and made her a crack whore. Say hello to the newsman, bitch. Hey, don't I know you? The rusty trombone, right? <laughs> I doubt it, Tramp. You're crazy. Back to you, Leanne. Police are struggling to solve the mystery of a container ship found deserted and full of bodies. The FBI is investigating. And government officials denied the existence of an area of Bone County that isn't on the map. Someone who was unprepared to be named. Carl, darling, welcome. So fucking welcome, man. What you know about my family? Now first we need to see what you're made of. What it look like I'm made of? Putin? No, anger and hate. And that's what I like about you. Hey, there's a truck in the garage. I say we take it for a spin. Here's the deal. This is all about speed and commitment. You got GPS in the cab? Get to each set of the map coordinates as quick as you can. Make it to all the coordinates, then get the truck back here. Lose the truck, and you fail. First, what's the GPS? Second, fail what? And third, who the fuck are you? Sorry. Need to know basis only. Oh, one more thing. This baby's got four-wheel steering instead of a handbrake. Good luck. Cars going in circles for several hours. Yeah! 
Hey, I think that's what it's all about. Uh, that and putting a lot of stickers on your car, buddy. Yeah, that really gets on my nerves. I mean, I'm a bald man. My wife left me stickers, and half the cars are sponsored by bald Castrodon Team Racing? Yeah, what in the name of my mother's cat is that all about? I mean, racing teams should be sponsored by things that are family friendly. Like car liquor or cigarettes, not the reason my wife ran off with that cop. What? Hey, screw your wife, pal. Probably a lot of guys did. <laughs> this ain't Lonely Hearts. I mean, let's stop showering each other in golden sports drink and get this ball back in play. Hello, caller. Derek, that caller talking about the biathlon is sick, I tell you, and unnatural. This town has never been the same since they had the Olympic carry years ago. Kids playing with javelins like ancient Greeks, people running with burning torches, throwing hammers. What kind of man wakes up in the morning and says, I'm going to go throw hammers for a living? Ooh, the long jump. Look at me. I can jump really high. Great. I have a gun. Want to fight? Ah, it's distracting us from our primal urge to paint your face with war paint, whip yourself into a sweaty, psychotic Frankie, and then go annihilate and hospitalize complete strangers. Then you bang a bimbo on the sidelines. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. Look, I love high school football and I love gymnastics. Hey, Jack, from I don't know the new sectors. Yeah, how come you don't talk about the best sport of all? Horse racing. I mean, tiny, angry people on horses? How can you go wrong? Hey, hey, I don't ride it any bigger than me, you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's why I never got into rodeo, man. I mean, first off, why would you ride a bull? Go find a big girl. They, 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 they could use the attention. And, and that's all we have time for. Okay, hey, I'm Derek Zachary. Till next time, play safe, people. Go, baby, go team. You're listening to WCTR, or maybe you aren't. Maybe you became so offended that the tight end zone has no female callers that you change stations. I know I would, and have. I'm not here anymore. If you crave news, WCTR, West Coast Talk Radio. Okay, boss was right about you. Boss will be in touch. Who the fuck is this? Son, get back to the ranch, and I'll explain everything. And I mean everything. Can't you just tell me now? I guess not. Hey, Carl. Hey, what the fuck, man? Hey, Torino, I, I told you my bad, man. What the hell can I say? I screwed you Calm over. Calm down, kid. Just go ahead and kill me then. Calm down. Man, you ain't number the fucking Yale dealer anyway, Torino. Shut up and sit down. What, you think I'm a drug dealer? And what, you think you're a crusader for good? Do you have any idea what's going on? Any idea whatsoever? Do you? Do you? Nah, I pay as little attention to things as possible. Do not be a fucking smart ass with me. I work for a government agency. It is not important which one. I will try not to confuse you. Yes, when we last met, I was involved in battling threats in Latin America by any means necessary. That does not make me a drug dealer. Now, the money that we raised, the friends that we won over, have helped us immeasurably in our overseas interests. Government agency? Kids like you, you expect heroes. We're fighting a war out there. I'll be a hero and I'll lose. And what do we have? Communism in Ohio. People sharing. Nobody buying stuff. That kind of bullshit. So relax and listen. All right, all right. I'm listening. I know what kind of guy you are. I need a guy like you. To do things I can't get caught doing. Like what? I need you to commandeer a truck. A rival agency with a confused social agenda. They got things that we need. Now this is a two-man job. 
you'll need a friend. Use your sister's boyfriend, but don't tell him a thing. Remember, I'll be watching you. I got here as fast as I could, CJ. Yeah, you sure did. How you know I needed help? <laughs> Man, you losing it, Holmes. You phoned me a half hour ago. I did? I mean, oh, yeah, I did. Sorry, man, I got a whole lot on my mind. What, you blind or something? Make you feel We need to jack a truck on the freeway. It's headed to San Fierro. I bought that calendar, but on every page, you're naked in a different garden. We can get on the freeway here, Holmes. Well, listen, you're ashamed of your human body. Keep your clothes on. I am locked. But I happen to be proud of my human body. What's the plan? I'm going to pull alongside, and you're going to hop aboard. Oh, shit, you didn't mention that on the phone. It'll be a walk in the park. Tell Kendall I love her. There's a rig up ahead. something. Little miniature idiots that look like you. Move out of the desert, you moron. I guess you're right. Well, what do you think? My Mexican jumping being closer. Gardening with Maurice. Only on WCTR. Now it's the couple who each thinks the other is screwing America. I Say You Say is next with the Phillips. I am Dr. Phillips, and I'm on the room. Get to a 10-step program, That's man. That's 12 steps. Yeah, you only... Okay, CJ, let's get this rig back to the garage. I'm taking care of this. Don't hey, stop you me. Right? Can I see your son? So yeah, maybe you should keep your finger out of your throat and eat a donut. 99% of the world wake up each day and eat dirt, and Queen puke -a -lot here can't keep a meal down? Boo-hoo! What do you expect, sympathy? This is Los Santos. People would give their right arm and left leg to live here. It's paradise, but you have to suffer to belong. Look, you you can't take the heat. Get out of the nuclear reactor. Next caller. Yeah, uh, I agree with that caller about the nuclear plant next to the projects. You know, nature has a way of taking care of poor people. Tornadoes don't like poor people. Right, like I don't do laundry. I'm liberated, independent, and I have three maids, all of them on less than minimum wage. I mean, poor people are so happy to work for me. Especially when I help them unite. Do you have a question? Sort of. Hey, you know, I got the same name as you. Yeah, uh, Peyton. Oh, well, it's a family name. No, Mary. I was called Bruce by my parents, but I prefer Mary. It's much more. Yeah, family. No, biblical. Which, like, okay, I'm an atheist, but I love the Bible. I have a hundred that I took from hotel rooms. Well, what's your question? Well, as a mother and a fireman, I was wondering what you guys thought about diversity in America. It makes me very nervous. Well, you see, I'm heavily into diversity. I'm like a, a man with a womb, lactating. Yes, I think... Rifas Carnales, Venganza! It's doing my head in. The 80s were really a materialistic time. I know, I'm a shallow person. Drown me. Look, we need a movie star to be president. It works. They're the best liars. They do it professionally. Well, yeah, so do all politicians. Next caller. Yeah, I want to talk about deportation. Yes, that is a shame, what they're doing to the thick, beautiful redwoods north of San Piero. I was talking about women, but you're right, San Piero is half the problem. It ain't natural and it's un-American. 
look, infatuation and disillusionment is the American way, but it works. Just look at places without professional wrestling and porno. Porno is the exploitation of women. Some people want to be exploited, like factory workers. Others want to be degraded. I mean really, really degraded. Like a liberal out, having what? his way with you. God, it makes me feel so dirty. Talk more slowly, please. Uh, moving swiftly on from my wife. You're on I Say, You Say, and what's your question? Yeah, this is Brad. I'm really into pleasuring myself. Good grief! Well, that's my business, but I feel discriminated against. Not only can I not practice my hobby in the privacy of my own garden or car, but my movies are rated as pornograph. Roger that, big monkey. I got a 13-6 fat vulture. Need to acquire a drowning baby. Over. What? In 15 by the fat moon. Break your heart. Over and out. Carl, I need you to do me a favor. Yeah, I'll do you a proper injury, man. What you knowing about my brother? <laughs> Relax. He's in prison upstate. D-wing. Cell 13. To the left, I got a child killer who wants to rip his throat out. To the right of him, I got a white supremacist who wants to eat his heart, to be precise. Now, don't worry. Tenpenny and Pulaski are really relatively benign. Unless, of course, you're a family member of Officer Pendleberry, whom they shot when he threatened to expose them. But you do know all about that, right? <laughs> Damn! Hey, man, how you know all this stuff, man? And won't you stop it? You just don't understand, do you, kid? Look, it's all white knights and heroes. We have to make decisions, kid. You know, I try to set bad people on other bad people, and sometimes I let good guys die. He's your brother, but to me, he's just collateral. It's a very delicate decision. Over here, you got all the scumbags inside the country. And over here, you got all the scumbags outside the country. And me and my colleagues, we're the fucking pivot. Keep the government in work. Which reminds me, come here, okay? I need you to head over here in the buggy outside. Okay? Okay, let off a flare. We got some precious cargo needs collected. Hey, hold up. What about my brother and all that shit you was talking hey, about? Hey, don't worry. Sweet's just fine. He gets touched. A prison guard goes home and finds that his wife and kid have been murdered. Everything's under control. We'll talk later. Now, come on, get out of here. about setting things on fire, shooting up funerals, blah, 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 you know, striking poses, smoking a lid. Exactly. You see, the Constitution was written on reefer by dudes with wooden teeth. You see, my clothing company, Low Down, home of the G, says this. I love reefer. It's the rules if you're a rapper. Wow, those sound like some great rules. You know, you get a lot of flack in the media these days. At a recent press conference, your manager came to your defense. A lot of people say gangster rap is misogynistic posturing by fake-ass idiots who spend more time in drama school than they ever did pimping or hustling dope. Well, I assure you, OG Loke is the real thing. He's hated women all his life. He's sold drugs to school children. He's murdered innocent people just for kicks. But he rhymes like an angel. And I assure you, it's all in a good cause. So either way, you can feel good about yourself listening to this music. Well, that was very informative. Big Smoke is doing a lot for the community, or to it. He sounds like a great guy. So, I want to get in on this rap thing. Do I have to break dance, what are you, you know, doing? do the windmill? Hey, can you body pop? Come on, Lasno. You know OG ain't no playboy. I ain't down with that shit. It ain't gangster. I walk the walk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fresh. Yo, I'm, I'm down. <laughs> I'm into walking, too, but I was thinking maybe we could have a break off, you know? I could spin on my back. You being funny? I'm trying to be. Watch it, fool. I want you. I got the streets. I got a rap. Me and my man Smoke, we took over. I've been gang banging since I was three. Ice cold. Kill Reno, where you at? Miles away. No time for niceties, kid. Choose a vehicle, grab the equipment I provided, get to that drop zone, and wait for that package.
arriving now. Jesus, will you stop doing that? giving me the heebie-jeebies, man. Carl, I will always be watching, or listening, or both. Videotapes of people making passion. Sure. 
dollars. All we care about is slot machines. Yes. It's a career that... Live the military life. San Andreas in eight days by balloon. Often while lounging around the garden parties, we could get the brave workers worldwide who toil day and night for the products we consume. Some are even so dedicated to our happiness they carry products in balloons shoved inside themselves. We go to the phones. Yes, we do. It's amazing. What's up now, Torino? This history, it's all lies. It says Hitler killed himself, and then we nuked Japan. And people believe this shit. <laughs> Jesus. Well, if it makes them sleep better at night, I guess. Hey, man, what did you want? Is you gonna free my brother? No. Not now. And here's a little news flash. I said that to get you to do something for me. Man, you real fucked up. But the shocker is, we are gonna look after him. Because I need him alive as much as you do. Oh, thanks. You know, after what you've done for me, it's like you're a pro now. I got double agents in Panama. I want to put a price on your head. A Russian spy. Little fat Boris-looking guy. He's asking for clearance to interrogate you. Russian style. Calipers on the genitals. Feels good. You'd like it. That ain't nothing cool, man. Just leave me alone. You bad news. Don't worry about it. The Russians got bigger things to worry about than your genitals, believe me. The whole country went to shit. You know, we tried hard to put a lid on it, but that idiot Gorbachev with his little strawberry in his forehead, he gave away the crown jewels. Still, they got their, you know, their boy in the White House. That was nice. So? What you want me to do? Now listen, I need you to buy me some property, okay? Shouldn't cost that much. You offer them a dollar. If they give you a hard time, kill them. I'm gonna need you to start doing some real wet work here for me soon, okay? Enough of this little girl bullshit. Now get out of here. Come on, beat it. A whole different story, and it is early. Let's go to the phones. Who's on the phones? One! Come on! Call up! Anyone? It wouldn't be like this in the moon, I can tell you. There I once made a phone call with 30 boys sitting on my lap. Not because I paid them. They wanted to be there. Or in Mali, where nobody knows what a phone is, and a lot of people have never even heard of plastic surgery. Or the glory hole fever. There, the glory hole. I can tell you, it's violent, bloody, and authentic. What are you scared of? You wimps! Give me a call! Someone! Please! Hello, you're on Wild Traveler. Where are you? I'm on a cliff. How romantic. I want to jump. I know what you mean, jump into the unknown. How can it be a sin if it feels good? Anyway, what's your question? Why am I here? I don't know. Why are you there? Where are you? Kenya? No. I'm a pretty club. Loathsome place I've jumped about you. I want to go to hell. Me too. Buy a refrigerated magnet when you get there. On with the show. Any callers? No? Okay, maybe I should hit the travel log again. This is from my diary in Sri Lanka. For a few rupees a day, I have employed the services of a young man who has been my guide in pleasure as well as travel. Yo, CJ, it's 
like uh, Jethro, dude. Hey, Jethro, how is it? Yo, dude, the garage is coming along nicely, man. But I rang about something else. There's an unofficial street racing club in San Fierro. Unofficial as in illegal, right? I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Anywho, they meet up around the driving school someplace. Thought you might, you know, like to know. Thanks, Jethro. I'ma think about it, and I'll holler at you. Later, man.